hello guys this is santosh and welcome back to tech design so in the previous tutorial we have discussed on uh, synchronous modeling basics so i have uploaded uh, two videos on synchronous modeling so if you're not checked that video please go to the playlist the playlist link will be available in the description and you can just check it out uh, those two videos and you can just come back to this video so those two are very basic and very important videos guys so now as you can see here in the um, this tutorial uh, in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how we can use move face so almost all 80% uh, of the work can be done through move face command and the rest of the uh, you know other commands also we can use in the synchronous modeling so now as you can see here in the home tab and the synchronous modeling group uh, we can able to see this move command so as soon as you hit the move command you can see here the face finder which is already discussed in our uh, uh, previous video you can just go through that uh, now i am not going to explain this so now what i will do is i'll just explain uh, all these commands so what are the most important commands will be explained uh, by using this uh, boss so either you can use this boss and or else i will just use this um, hole these two holes are there so i'm just going to use them and i'll just try to uh, teach you on how uh, move face command works so now uh, what happens is uh, say uh, it shows us to select a face so what i will do is i'll just go to drop down and boss or uh, pocket faces so i'll um, just select this boss so now as you can see here as soon as you select a single face the entire feature will be selected because of this uh, filter so now uh, you can see here um, now there are multiple options uh, the way how you can you know transform uh, feature from one place to another place so before going to distance and angle i'll just provide you uh, knowledge on distance and then angle and then we can go to distance and angle so first of all uh, we'll just go to distance so as you can see here distance so it is asking for a vector along which vector you want to um, you know uh, move this uh, feature say for example i will just give positive x axis along this direction i'll just provide so i'll just provide the positive x axis and now either you can give the uh, you know distance in mm over here or else you can just drag this handle so you can drag this handle now as you can see here the whatever the boss uh, available in this position will be moved to the new position so this is what the magic behind this uh, synchronous modeling guys uh, it is very easy to model you know modify the uh, model so but this is not a parametric model so we already discussed what is the difference between parametric modeling and non parametric modeling so now as you can see it is very simple that you just need to provide a vector along which direction you want to move the feature and then the distance the value uh, you want to you need to provide so that is how uh, you can just move one com one pr uh, one place to that is how you can move uh, the feature from one place to another place so i'll just click ok now uh, apply so as you can see here the feature itself is moved from one place to another place but only thing is we will see only this command over here move face command so it means that it is moved from one place to another place so now what i'll do is i'll just go to move face so move uh, you can not only move these uh, features you can uh, if you want to move this face or else if you want to move this uh, hole or anything any feature you can able to move it uh, very easily i'll just show you one of the face over here so i'm just going to select this face okay sorry guys single face i'll just remove this whatever the selected object shift and select it okay now uh, what i'll do is i'll just need to select a single face so now the direction is already uh, given here so along this direction i want to move and now i'll just drag this so as you can see here as soon as i draw the uh, um, drag it uh, you can see uh, the model is uh, you know extruding along this direction so you can click apply and it is very easy that uh, you can able to move uh, in all the directions so uh, either if you want to make it uh, in uh, parametric modeling so you just need to go into a sketcher environment inside this uh, model and then you need to change the dimensions and uh, once you uh, finish the sketch then it, the extrude will going to um, update but in this case it is a simple way uh, where uh, most of the designers and um, design engineers uh, used to do this in this way because they don't need a parametric model uh, they want it for uh, concept design and uh, whether to check whether our model is feasible or not so i'll just do control z okay so now as you can see here our feature is again in the same position so now let's discuss on angle so let me go to move face again 
and here is an angle so now let me select a face so i'll just go to bosses so this is my boss and uh, my vector so along which vector you want to uh, you know uh, rotate this feature so along z direction i just wanted to move it uh, rotate it so i'll just give z axis now you can see a specify x axis point so you know uh, along which point it should rotate so i'll just go to point dialog box and i'll just between two points so between this point and this point as you can see here this is my uh, input point so along which uh, it should rotate so now either you have a handle here you can just drag this or else you can provide a angle here so i'll just provide 30 degree so now as you can see here the feature itself is moved from one place to another place around 30 degree so it's in the same way if you want to move it along the other direction directly you can give 180 degree so it will be moved from this place to this place so suppose if you want to move the make this uh, you know uh, achieve this uh, feature from here to here in the parametric modeling uh, you just need to go into sketch on then you have to move this uh, sketch and then uh, the model will be updated so it will take a lot of time but here it is very easy so i'll just click apply so now you understood how distance and angle is working so now let's go to um, you know combination of these two so distance and angle so now as you can see here so first is the distance vector so first of all let me select a boss so this boss i'm going to select first is a distance along which distance along which vector you want to move say for example i'm just selecting this and i'll just reverse it so along this direction i want to move so along this direction it is moving now we need to rotate it so just need to uh, give a pivot point so in order to give a pivot point you just go to highlight this and now you need to select a plane here as you can see here there are three planes are created so this is one place this is another plane and this is another plane so along which you know plane you want to rotate it so i'll just provide this plane so now uh, pivot point so let me give a pivot point as a center of this model so which is between these two points okay so now uh, you can give the angle so either you can give angle over here or else you can just drag this handle so i'll just give as 50 mm so now as you can see here the 50 mm it is moved so this is nothing but a combination of distance and angle so I, you can give both the distance and angle in this command so i hope you understand this so next we will just click ok for this and i'll just do ctrl z so now we are have the boss in the same position so now let's go to move and now we will discuss on point to point so which is very important so what i will do is uh, we can just go to point to point so it is just you need to provide one point to another point so the distance between the one point to another point whatever the distance we have so that much uh, feature will be mode so we'll just show you uh, you can see here so this is the my boss and from point so from this point to this point so now as you can see here this has been moved from So since this point is coming on this uh, you know hole so there is an error so let me cancel this and now load, go to move command again and uh, I'll just select this and now let me go to point to point so now what I will do is I'll just provide an uh, point from this point to this point either I can give this point to this point as well so let me give that points so from point will be this and end point will be this so whatever the distance from here to here so the same distance the you know boss will be moved so this is very simple guys you just need to provide two points and uh, your feature will be moved from one place to another place so it is not only you can move the boss uh, either you can just move this hole as well so go to hole uh, sorry move command and just select this face okay instead of this i'll just make a single face so single face and this face i just wanted to move and let me give the distance along this direction so now as you can see here uh, our uh, hole is moved from one place to another place so and then uh, now finally what we have here uh, rotate by three points so let me you know make this uh, understand for you so hit ctrl z 
okay so i'm going to select the same uh, boss here so now uh, rotate by three points so first of all we need to provide a vector so along which vector uh, you want to rotate it so uh, along z direction as you can see here along z direction i just wanted to rotate this uh, boss so now uh, pivot point so my pivot point will be center of this model so i'll just click ok so this is my center and start point start point is this and so my start point will be this and my end point will be this see uh, now uh, this is my pivot point and start point and end point so now the angle between these three point will be 180 degree so if i give uh, this as an end point so it should rotate by 180 degree from this pivot point so it should come around this direction so i'll just provide a end point over here so as you can see here once the end point is given it has rotated 180 degree so you can just click ok so and this is how it works guys so now let's see go to move command and now we have uh, so this is how it works guys uh, move command so uh, you can either uh, give it to a boss or uh, you can make a use of on holes or else you can you know make a use on this uh, faces as well uh, so it works on all the most of the major faces as well so you can try it in your uh, model and uh, if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button